So there's a lot of talk about blue light right now and the need for anti-blue light glasses. But do blue light glasses really help or is this a bunch of marketing hype? That's why in this video we're answering, do blue light glasses work? Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and vision. And on this channel, we do a lot of different educational videos about different eye diseases, as well as vision product reviews around glasses, contacts, that sort of thing. So if that interests you, then consider hitting that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Now I'm excited to be talking about blue light and really kind of answering some of the questions I've been getting about blue light. I have a lot of people asking, hey, is blue light real? Do I really need blue light glasses? And do they really work? So that's what we're covering today. And to answer these major questions, I'm just going to tell it to you just how I tell patients in the clinic almost every single day. The first major thing that you'll hear about blue light and the need for blue light glasses is that blue light affects our sleep. And that is true. Blue light has been found in studies to affect retinal cells in the back of the eye, which then speak to the pineal gland in your brain, which produces melatonin, which is known as the sleeping hormone. And the presence of melatonin helps improve your overall nightly sleep, which of course affects different health aspects specs, including affecting memory, and that's why people who don't get as very good sleep have increased risk chances for things like early dementia and Alzheimer's. And blue light has this effect because most of the blue light you'll ever experience in your lifetime comes from the sun. And so staring at your computer screen or your cell phone for long periods of time, especially in the evening, kind of acts like staring at the sun early in the morning. It tells your brain to wake up and to stay alert. That means that people who spend a lot of time in front of digital screens are at higher risk of diminishing the melatonin production and therefore risking having poorer sleep. Which I think is really important for younger individuals such as children who are starting to use more digital products in their whole learning regimen, whether they're doing homework in front of a computer, staying up all night writing a paper, or maybe learning on something like an iPad. And for this reason, blue light glasses are recommended for people who spend a lot lot of time in front of digital screens. However, I think overall most eye care professionals will recommend that people, one, try to reduce the amount of screen time use, especially in the later evenings. Try not to use any sort of digital screen at least two hours before going to bedtime. In addition, if your digital device has a blue light or nighttime mode, turn that software on. Most Apple products and Samsung Galaxy phones do have some sort of a blue light protective mode, and you'll notice the screen kind of turning a dim yellow. Studies have found that those apps do reduce the amount of effect that blue light can have on your melatonin production. However, it's not 100%, and so again, people who are spending a lot of time in front of computer screens can consider blue light glasses. The second big thing you'll hear all marketing companies talk about their blue light glasses is the reduction of eye fatigue, eye strain, and also known as digital eye strain or computer vision syndrome, which can basically lead to things like headaches. And as far as the scientific validity for these statements, it is very mixed. Some studies have found that people do benefit from using these blue light protective glasses and these yellow filters to reduce eye strain. However, many studies also find really no benefit. I personally, on an anecdotal level, see a lot of patients who can go either direction. Some people will come back into the office saying, thank you so much for these blue light glasses because they have reduced my eye strain on the computer, while some people don't really notice a benefit at all. But again, the results are very mixed. I personally don't find a huge benefit from the dark yellow tints unless I'm currently experiencing a headache or a migraine. Now, before we get on to the most controversial subject about blue light and how blue light could be affecting the retina in the back of the eyes, if you're finding value in this video, smash that like button for me and leave a comment in the section below if you have already tried blue light glasses and have you noticed any benefits at all, whether it be from something like eye fatigue or maybe affecting your sleep patterns. Now, there's a lot of confusion about blue light and how it could be potentially affecting the back of the eye, leading to different eye diseases such as age-related macular degeneration and potentially vision loss from those diseases. Now, there are several studies showing that blue light can can affect the retinal cells in the back of the eye, but those studies were done on mice and rats, and that was with a very high energy blue light just inches away from their faces. In addition, the only study I've read about human retinal cells being tested under these conditions, these retinal cells were on a petri dish in a laboratory, and the human retinal cells that are attached to the back of your eye under normal conditions has a lot of protective mechanisms to prevent photochemical damage from this blue light effect. And the best argument against blue light causing damage to the retinal cells comes from the fact that epidemiological studies don't even show that people exposed to harsh amounts of sunlight, and again, most of the blue light you'll ever seen in your lifetime comes from the sun. These studies show that people exposed to sunlight for long periods of time do not experience this type of cell death from things like macular degeneration or other retinal diseases. 
And that's again because the normal eye has mechanisms in place to protect the eye from this harsh energy light. With that being said, we still ultimately don't know. We're still waiting for studies to be completed and give us a final answer. There is still concern because we know that high energy light can cause damage to the back of the eye, such as in solar retinopathy when somebody stares at the sun too long, as well as from other high intense light beams, such as laser pointers, can also cause damage to the retina. So in theory, the concern is real. However, in the scientific studies, the evidence just isn't there right now that blue light really causes retinal damage. So do blue light glasses work? For sleep? Yes. For fatigue? Maybe. For retinal health? We're not sure yet. But again, there are other ways to protect your eyes from blue light other than blue light glasses. If you want to hear a little bit more about those strategies, I do have them in a full video series about blue light protection. And if you want to check out that series, go ahead and click or tap the screen just over here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Hey, thanks for watching. Keep an eye on it and we'll talk to you soon.